Hello, this is Matt Cannon with my thoughts of the day. Just out here in nature on the trail once again, and I got a few thoughts for you. I want to start off with a brief quote, and I'm learning more about this guy um, after reading this quote, but the quote is this. And he says, and now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. And it's by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Try to say that in my French accent, because he's a French, French author. And um, he was a very interesting man, but he started flying planes. Um, he was very loyal to his friends. He was very loyal to his family. He um, lived an amazing life. He had written tons of books, and he, the books that he wrote um, were translated into hundreds of languages. So he had a lot of influence around the world. But what he said is, here is my secret. It is very simple. It is with the heart that one sees rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. And so I just have been kind of thinking about it. And this was in the Five Bullet Friday that I mentioned in my last recording from Tim Ferriss. And it was, it was in that newsletter that I got yesterday, Friday, today, Saturday, where he talked about that quote was a quote he was pondering. And it got me down this path just listening to things about him. There were some talks about him. But I was just struck by how true it is. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Have you ever thought about how you see things? Most of us, when we see things, we're seeing it um, translated through our life experiences, through our belief systems. So what we see is somewhat of a, a partial picture of what things are really going on. So we don't actually see things the way you think about it. And this, and this is a way to know how this works. A lot of times when people go blind, like they actually lose sight, um, they, they learn within about a year to, to see using Braille. Now, they're not seeing in the sense that as we see when we have eyesight, but they're, they're able to experience the world around them through their, their touch and through their fingers. And, Research shows that it activates the same area of the brain as sight would, so they're able to start experiencing things. And I don't know much about it um, from a very literal and practical sense, but the science and the research shows that scans, MRI scans of someone who is blind when they're seeing through Braille, that it activates the same area of the brain. Because we see with the occipital lobe, it's a it's an area in the back of the the brain and that processes things. So a lot of times we're, we're processing our eyes and everything is processing and we're translating it as we go. And so I like this, this idea of seeing with the heart. And, and I think depending on your belief system, you can look at this in different ways. And I don't want to overthink it. I just want to kind of leave this here, my thought of the day. Um, are you seeing with your heart? Because what you see with your eyes is very biased and driven by your life experiences, by your belief system and everything. Your heart is kind of on a deeper layer and oftentimes a large percentage of those essential things are invisible to the eye. And as he said, this wise man who's written lots of books that have been translated into hundreds of languages, um, he basically said, what is essential is invisible to the eye. The only way to see rightly is with your heart. And he said it was a secret and it's very simple. And yet, how many of us understand how things are? How come, how many of us take things, situations in our life at face value? It's windy out here. <laughs> we take situations at face value and we just say, you know, I, I see things this way and this is just the way it is. And, and you know, you believe something and you see it in a particular way and that's it. That's just the way it is. And Another quote that he, he said um, that I read this morning, he says, what makes the desert beautiful is that somewhere it hides a well. What makes the desert beautiful is that somewhere it hides a well. And so this great man, this 
uh, military. He served in World War II. He was with the French um, military. Um, he would he one time went after a friend who whose plane went down in the Andes Mountains, and he went and found him. And this friend exclaimed when he found him, he said, "No man would do this for someone else." So he was like kind of a lay down his life type of man. He was the one who would go after things and he would go there for his friend or his family or people. Um, but he says, the beauty in the desert is somewhere it hides a well. And sometimes if you're going through a desert experience and you're going through difficulty that by sight, by your eyes, by what you see, it looks hopeless, it looks terrible, it looks difficult. But you have to look with your heart. You have to see things through the lens of what is this experience gonna teach me? What is the invisible stuff that's happening right now behind the scenes that I don't understand yet? And what's, what, is gonna, what is history, what is the legacy going to reveal as time goes on? So sometimes when we look with our eyes, when we look at our disappointments, when we look with our uh, pressures and all that stuff, we, we, we translate it wrongly. The only way to see rightly is with the heart, according to Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Um, trying to get that name right, his French name. Um, but remember, what is essential is invisible to the eye. Today, as you're going about your, your day and your walk and your life, don't take everything by sight. Don't take everything literal. Don't be so practical that you miss the bigger picture. Don't judge people. One of the other things he said is, he says, our differences enrich us and, and they bring us together. And he was, he, was, he was very much, a lot of times our differences by sight, they divide us. So like someone doesn't agree with you or they look at something a certain way and now you're, their, you're your enemies. But if we looked at our differences as something that enriches us and actually brings us together, I take what you believe, you take what I believe, we bring it together and we enrich each other because we have different perspectives. What is essential is invisible to the eye. So next time you see something, and you start judging it right away or you start making preconceived notions and you start saying, hey, I know how this story turns out. Um, I know how this goes and how that goes. Just take a step back and see what your heart says. And I'm not gonna try to define what that means, what your heart says, because that, he says, here is the secret is very simple, but the heart is very deep. And sometimes it's complicated to understand. And what you believe in your heart may be different from what I believe in my heart. And so when two people have two different belief systems in their heart, you know, they don't necessarily meet in the middle, at least by sight. But oftentimes what is essential is invisible to the eye. So don't, don't today judge what you see necessarily. I'm not saying be oblivious and blind and don't pay attention to things um, and don't be foolish and just go, you know, I believe in my heart I can jump off a cliff and everything will be okay. That would be foolish. I'm not advocating that what I'm saying is what is essential is often invisible to the eye so think twice before you you judge something based on your opinions before you judge something based on your 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 very limited beliefs we all have very limited beliefs like I haven't been on this earth that long I mean I've been on here a decent number of years but you know in the grand scheme of things it's a short time so I don't know it all. I don't have it figured out. I'm learning as I go. You're learning as you go. So just don't don't be so sure that you understand things. Don't be so sure that you got the answers. And remember, what is essential is invisible to the eye. This is Matt Cannon with my thoughts of the day. Signing out.